Do you currently utilize Salesforce and want to automate your customer onboarding? Well, let me show you how with Jotform. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you currently have Jotform and Salesforce, but they aren't connected, be sure to grab Jotform for free within the App Exchange. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over into my Jotform tab. And for this example, let's go ahead and create a brand new form. So in the top left-hand corner, we're going to create a form and we can either start from scratch, we can create a specific Salesforce form, we can use a template, we can import a form, or we can create a signable document. So for this example, because we know exactly what we're looking for, we want to onboard our customers. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the templates and see if we can find anything there. Now over on the left-hand side, I'm going to utilize the search option and let's see what comes up for onboarding. And right here in the top right-hand corner, I can see we have the client onboarding questionnaire. So let's go ahead and utilize this template. All right. So first up, Whenever we utilize a template like this, it is not connected to Salesforce in any way, shape or form. So that needs to be the first thing that we do. We need to get it integrated with Salesforce. So we can see right off the bat, we have our name field and when I click on it, nothing happens. So let's get it integrated so you can see what this looks like when it's integrated. So on the right hand side, we're going to choose the Salesforce integration. And the first thing it wants to know is, do we want to create a brand new record or do we want to find an existing record? So at this point in the process, I want to create a brand new record. So this is good. We'll choose next. And I want this to be in my account object. And it's going to go ahead and look at all the fields that I have, and it's going to automatically map them to Salesforce's fields. So as of right now, we're going to go off of the name. And again, if you want to add fields to be mapped within Salesforce, you can do that as well here. But if we choose next, now it's wanting to know, okay, do you want us to look and see if there is an existing record? And if so, do you want us to update it? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and turn this on and let's go ahead and go off of that account name. Perfect. We'll save. And now if we choose our name field, we can see right down here, it says this field is connected to our account object by the account name. So I think we are good to go. Let's go ahead and give this a test. So I'm gonna go up to the top right hand corner. We're going to preview the form and I'm gonna choose the fill form button and we'll go ahead and submit. Perfect. Now, not only is this data being saved and living in JotForm tables, it's also living in Salesforce. So let me go ahead and show you what this looks like within our tables. So here we can go ahead and scroll and we can see all of that information that was just entered. Perfect. So up at the top, let's head over to our account object. And right here, we see Corey right here at the very beginning. And this is the perfect way to start your onboarding process for your clients. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to automate onboarding your clients with Jotform, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.